प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस अब बड़ा नवीन थी हम अहोरी हा मीडिया के बेफोन अब बड़ा बड़ा शुक्रा दाखोरा अलगों में मिया दो मी प्रेस बेबी के मी दानी हम अति बेफोन नंग अलगों में टुवर्ड्स फ्यूचर बनाए के दशों मी कोरिया के इंदा मासे को तेरे एम में बोर्डो प्रोजेक्ट फेट मुगे मास्ट्रो फेट मुगे वहाँ के तथी बेफोन ना हिस्सा कोल्ड मट्टा का दें मिया दो अलगों में मिहार मिवानी तिबे फोन ना कर दे इतनो था आरफ बेन मनुआ ने करने के मेड रियल मेड्रिड अधि स्पेन के लेजेंडे मिशेल सलगाडो सलगाडो के एकेडमी आए की इगा अलगों में मी जॉइन को मी मासे के तके फेशी के मिदानी दिवे ही राज्य के एक ही सारा होता होगा गैगन का आशार वर का एकेडमी तं है दिगं दियो एक तेरे एं मी दिहा एकेडमी में अति अतलो थेरे एं आदि अंग एकेडमी है दिगं दानी मी माले सारा हद दुगा माले सारा हद दालो में दान नवनी माले हुलु माले विधि माले मी 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 हिसाब उगाना दें मी एज फोरा तक उन्नाने उमरों बारा अने हैंगा हरो फेरी गंगोस मी बारा हरा देते रहेगा मी 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 एकेडमी तक कुरियत दान हम अमिया एक ही गा अलगों में एक बार फटांग हाई परफॉर्मेंस सेंटर एक ए मिहार हुलमा देख है दिफा होरी हुलमा देख इन्ना फुटबॉल स्कूल ए फुटबॉल स्कूल का लोन में फोकस करे भी गंदा आने बारा हरा सतारा हरा दे में दोगे उम्र फुरा गे कोडिंग तम्बरिंग कुर्मा दें मी अतलो थेरे नो ता मी एकेडमी ता आशार एकेडमी ता अलग में फोकस मी कुरानी हमा एक ही राज्य शुगर होरी स्कूल ता होगा थेरे गालो में प्रोग्राम ता कुरिया गेंदियो मट्टा का दें हमा मी वारा ताफ्सील को थेगा मी सलगाडो मी तिहुरी हा बेफ्रोना मी क्या देने किने कंग मी प्रोग्राम हिंगानिया अधि किने तो मी गे मी गे Awal kau lana itu tak kuriat di mata kak. I was quick from you. Okay. Well, good to say afternoon, evening to everybody, and thank you for being in here. The media, even the AFC, of course, the whole, the whole people from the Federation of Maldives. I've been working with them in the last what three years, four years, even before the, before all this COVID situation. Um, I'm really proud to be in here now announcing this new program, you know, for the grassroots. That's the main theme for us. Um, I'm going to explain now what it means to work with the grassroots, of course. Uh, the first thing that I have to say is that we've been working in the last two years. There was a big delay because of the COVID, but this is not something that we are doing now. We've been working in the last two years after the agreement, one year and a half in this agreement. Of course, you know, selecting the right coaches, uh, preparing the program, you know, for the next six years i hope that is going to be longer of course uh but in the end i'm really 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 happy to bring this um this program you know to the maldives and and i want to explain to you how it's going to work the first thing i have to say is that if you want to improve football if you want to prove something in your in your country it has to start from the grassroots it has to start from the kids they are our future and we cannot go into the senior national team right now to to try to improve so many things right now yes you know, we will do it for sure with a new coach, actually, that is a really experienced uh, a guy. We are really sad that we couldn't make it to the final. The captain is in here. But I was enjoying so much the tournament. I think the most important thing is that the Federation, they organize an amazing tournament. And I think so many tournaments will come in the future. So, uh, you know, congratulations to the Federation for a great job. Um, then going into the grassroots things, and that's, that's our, our thing. We were talking about how to improve football in the in the Maldives. What we can do to improve football in the Maldives. We can do to improve the national team. Uh, we can do to improve the competitions in the in the in the country. We have to say that it's a difficult country. Why? Because it's not easy to put together all the islands. You know, it's difficult to get the kids, you know, from the islands and bringing them into the Mali or into any place and training and training them. It's not easy to, even to scout the kids because I, I know that the you know the, the talent is in there. For sure, there, are, there is a lot of talent in the islands, you know, from the kids. And we need to try to find out, this, this, to discover uh, this kind of diamonds that we have in the islands and bring them into our program. Um, I'm going to show you how it's going to work now. Please move into the... Okay, so what we are thinking, um, we're going to start with uh, the most important thing, the schools. Um, this, this year, we're going to start with 18 schools. That's our agreement, with 18 schools, 1-8. Um, because in the end, this is the place where we can find our, our talent. We're going we're to be working with kids seven years old all the way until uh, 12 years old. You can see 
under eight is, is seven years old. We're going to have our coaches, um, you know, not only training the kids, but training our, our local coaches and doing our, our program in all the schools. From those schools, uh, we're going to select every year the best under 12 players, 20 under 12 players, that they're going to come into our high performance center. As you can see, the high performance center is in here in Mali. It's, no, it's going to be ready for in December with a new pitch, new two pitch, you know, two fields. And we're going to be training on a, on a weekly basis. Uh, and of course, in, uh, we have, you know, one coach for, you know, for each uh, category. You can see under 13, under 14, under 15, 16, and 17. So we're going to have one coach from our uh, program coming from, you know, from Spain. They are already in here. And of course, they're going to be working with the national team coaches as well, the five national team coaches. It's not, it's not that we're going to interfere in the national team program. We're going to be helping out the national team program. That's, that's really, really important, okay? So in the end, our kids are going to be training on a daily basis. And then weekends, we're going to try to introduce um, a competition games. And then, of course, they're going to be with the parents during the weekend a little bit because it's not easy for kids, especially in the 13, 14, to be away from home for a long period, you know? So weekends after the, the games, they're going to be with the parents until, until Sunday again, where they're going to come back into, the, into our program, into the into High Performance Center. In our, in our High Performance Center, we'll have a new gym, of course, the new fields, and we'll, we'll have people not only taking care of the kids on a full basis, We'll have a physio coming, you know, from the space already near. We have a nutritionist to try to get the best out of the kids as well in food, in, you know, in the real, in the, so it's going to be a whole program to get the, the kids ready, you know, to perform and, you know, and to be ready for the competition. So we're going to introduce um, a new thing. We are still, you know, working on that because it's not, it's not that simple. I was thinking how to get the best out of this. So once we have our under 17 players, you know, working with us for five years, what's going to happen with them? Of course, they're going to be part of the, of the, of the national team, most of them, but what's going to happen afterwards? So what we want, to, we want to do is we want to improve football as well in the league, which is the, driving, the Premier League. You know, the Premier League is going to be important for us as well. So what are going to do? We're going to have 20 players under 17, the best players. We're going to rate them. I'm going to do a draft, and it's something that we are discussing with the, with the clubs, of course, because it has to be agreed with the clubs, where they can get the best players from our high-performance center straight into the um, you know, Premier League teams, which in the end is, I'm trying to prove as well the Premier League, how the best-rated uh, you know, uh, kid or under-17 uh, player can be selected by let's say, the, the, the bottom team of the last year. So we need to try to improve as well the league, bringing the best two players maybe into the team that in the end was, um, you know, bottom of the, of, the, of the competition in the last year. In some way, we're going to try to improve uh, the Premier League as well. And the most important thing, we want our players under 17, 18 to go straight into the big competition, which is the Premier League. If not, it doesn't make sense. So for us, it's very important to get our, our players from the High Performance Center ready to play into the Premier League. So they're going to be part of the national team. That's the selection from the coaches. But in the end, the most important thing is they can be ready to play the Premier League. And of course, if we get as, as, you know, as many players as we can into the Premier League, it means that the range of selection for the national team senior is going to, imp is going to improve and it's going to be bigger. So this is the way that we're going to work. Now, our high performance center is going to be in Mali, so we're going to cover the center. But we have the idea to go with a new high performance center. I don't know, it's going to be in one year, two years. We're working on that uh, in the south. So that's, that's the thing. We need to find our talent as well, not only in Mali, we need to find our talent in, in the islands. You know? Otherwise, we cannot control football in the whole country. We are going to take care only of, of Mali, which is, which is something that I don't want. We want to cover the whole, the whole country. So this is the way it's going to work. Once we have the second high performance center, we're going to have the best 20 players from each category in Mali and the best 20 players from the islands working in our high performance center in the south. OK? So uh, let's go. That's, that's the way it's going to work. I'm very proud of it. Uh, going to the, yeah, this is the technical stuff, as you can see, uh, again, I'm going to be in charge of all the, all the program, you know, directing all the program. 
Uh, then we have our our manager um, of the of the um, program, uh, Blas Charlene, and he's going to be the coach of the under 17 as well. Um, he's been, you know, he has a lot of experience. You know, he's been in Celta Vigo, he's been in a, in, in a lot of teams in Grand Roots, even in Angola, has you know international experience. We have Abel Lorenzo with the coach, um, coach under 16. Plus, he's going to be in charge of the fitness fitness program for all the for all the teams. Frank Cainthos, you know, actually he played with me in, in Celta Vigo. Uh, he's going to be in charge of the U15. U14 is um, is a Portuguese um, coach. He's been in in Boavista, in grassroots. He's been in, in a lot of teams, you know, in Portugal and, and with the international experience as well. And the 13 is going to be Angel Oliveira. Uh, he's going to be in charge of the goalkeeper uh, goalkeeper program as well. And then we have uh, down, you can see down, physiotherapist and nutritionist, Jose Varela. And uh, in control of all the all the schools, the 18 schools is going to be John Rios and Iñaki Perez. And we have our, you know, John Rios as our video analyst as well for all the teams. Uh, as you can see, we're going we're gonna to bring uh, five local assistants for the high performance. They're going to be working with our coaches in, in all group ages and 36 local coaches in, into the schools, which is, it can be bigger, it can be, it depends on the number of kids we're going to have, but at least we're going to start to train our 36 local coaches to get ready uh, for our program in the schools. I think, you know, more or less, uh, to make it short and, and uh, allowing you to make questions if you want, this is our, our program. We've been working on this with a lot of I don't know how to say it with well, with um, you know, with a lot of uh, in, 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 you know enthusiasm. And to be honest, um, I'm really proud to be here and announcing this. I'm I'm really you know I'm gagging to start to work. Um, to be honest, and from now on, from tomorrow, we're going to be ready to start to work with uh, with the kids of Maldives. And I hope that in in six years, uh, we are coming back in here announcing a new agreement but with results, you know, watching real results and improving the, the football in Malis. I'm really, uh, as I said, really proud to be in here with Bazam, um, you know, getting this agreement and, to be honest, bringing all the, all the coaches and, and, uh, and starting to work with you guys. Um, I hope that everything is okay. I hope that you can be proud of us. I hope that you are going to see the results, you know, in the next years. And... Uh, Nothing else, you know. Uh, thank you so much for coming again, and uh, I'm ready for any any question um, that is coming is coming from you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Hassan, I don't know if I forget something. Yeah. Yes, please. Suave, cold and otilla, hama, curry again, though. First of all, we are really glad that a uh, really good legend like Salgado helping Maldives football to grow. And we are glad that everyone involved in football is really happy to see this project succeed itself. And uh, as we have seen the program itself, we have seen that uh, lots of kids to be involved in this and you are planning to cover whole country. And uh, right now we have seen that uh, there's a pool to be involved in the Premier League itself. And can you explain us that how it going to be running through towards the Premier League as, uh, as, as I have heard that uh, 20 players to be involved, as the good 20 players to be involved in the Premier League. Can you explain us the process? Please? Yeah, more or less I, I explained it before, but uh, I'm going to explain it to you again. The most important thing is we start to select the best kids from seven years old to 12, at least to work with them in the schools. Uh, for at least three, four, five years, then the best, the best and the 12 will go every year into the high performance center, where they're going to start on a daily, on a weekly basis with our coaches in our program, and in the end they're going to be in the high performance center for five years, from under 13 until under 17. So we're going to rate the best under 17 when they become 17 years old. We have 20 in Mali and 20 in the south, not only 20. So it's going to be 40. 40 best players under 17. Uh, we have the islands and we have the center, yes? So out of these 40 players, we are going to rate them as, you know, depending on their performance. That's for sure, yeah? And then, of course, we're going to try to make a draft 
that's something that um, we have to agree with the with the with the local teams, with the with the Premier League teams, of course, if they are happy to to do that. Uh, we're going to rate our players, and they will have the option in a draft to select our best players to go straight into their teams as professional. Yeah, that's the way it's going to work. So uh, our real job in here is selecting the kids, you know, getting the the diamonds, the rough diamonds, and shape them all the way into the into the first teams of the of the Premier League, and of course, uh, to make them better, you know, for the for the uh, for the national teams as well. You know, under 15, under 17, the national teams are going to be into a lot of competition from now on. But for for us, is the most important thing is, as I said, scouting the best kids, working on, with them on a daily basis, and working with, with with a real program where we can improve them and making them ready for competition. So it's not that I'm coming in here for uh, taking a picture and a video and and just that, and being a legend in here, I'm coming in here to work really hard to improve the football in Maldives. So this is not a picture or, or a press conference. I'm going to be in here every single month to check on my coaches, to check on the way we are, we are working on a daily basis, and to check if we are really uh, developing uh, properly. So I will be in charge of everything. I'm responsible for everything. So this is not about a picture of a legend coming in here. That was before when I came, you know, for whatever. This is a real program, and as I told you, I'm really... I'm really proud of being part of it, and I hope that, as I told you, in six years we can we can be proud of what kind of place we're in, you know we are developing, and uh, and that our national team is improving every year. Because for that, we are ready as well to uh, plan on uh, on every year international tournaments for this for this team. With within, without international football, it's in, impossible to improve the place. You know, for us, the most important thing is that we can go to tournaments in Europe, in, in, in Asia, everywhere, and in the end we can compete. We can compete on a, you know, on, on a, on a good performance, uh, and that's, that's our responsi you know, responsibility. Uh, so, uh, as I told you, that's the way it's going to work, and um, if we can get as many players as we can every year into the Premier League, it means that we are doing the right things. It means that, first, we are doing the right thing, and at the same time, we are improving the Premier League and the national team. At least we are giving more opportunity to the national team coaches to select more players. And that's very important for the national team. Coach, you have mentioned that uh, you'll be selecting 20 best players. Uh, uh, do you have any plans to um, give them opportunities from somewhere, um, from outside the country? Europe. From, uh, yeah, Europe. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Look, um, you know, this is not my first experience. You know, I've been in, in Dubai the last nine years, actually, and I have one of, no, it was an academy, now it's a club, so I have my club in second division, EVA. You know, the rules are, are complicated, and, but I'm developing players from Dubai into, into the first team, so I know what I'm talking about. I know the first question from the parents and from everybody is like, can you get players into Europe? You know, even in Europe, it's complicated. They select the best kids in Madrid, in Barcelona, in Vigo, everywhere. And most of them, only the 5%, maybe they make it to the, to the professional football. But of course, I'm going to tell you, um, if we can get one day, one Maldivian player into, professional, into a professional league in Europe, it, whatever, that will be unbelievable you know, for, for our program. That's for sure. I cannot promise you anything, but I can promise that at least, and actually, you know, my, our idea is to get these best players, two or three players, to train with uh, European teams uh, three times a year. Yeah, that, that's going to happen because I have, I have an agreement. And actually with, with my club, uh, last summer I had 11 players training with Celta Vigo in different group ages, you know. And it works amazingly. You know, they, you know just training with Celta Vigo for one month at that level, it makes, it makes a big difference. So for sure we'll have an agreement with Celta Vigo because it's my... Is my local, let's say, my local team where I was raised. Remedy is going to be more complicated because getting players in there <laughs> is, you know, FIFA rules are quite quite difficult for for the for the ki for the kids. But for sure, you know, we'll get we'll get players to train with with European teams and to have experiences with them. And the most important thing, we'll do tournaments in du you know in Spain, in Dubai, in here in our high performance uh, center, in Asia for sure. In any country we will go, Sri Lanka. You know, um, we'll be we'll be planning something good for our for our kids, but we want to start from zero. We want to develop them a little bit, 
when they are ready, for sure, they're going to be there. That, that's for sure. I can promise you that some players are going to be training with uh, European teams. If they can make it professional, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm really happy that I can make professional players for the Premier League and I can pr improve this league. Then if one guy is, if we can get um, a Maldivian Messi, <laughs> then, you know, happy days. <laughs> Basama. So we are the captain in here, actually, so... <laughs> So, God of Ahakofi Rajeg, the Konoga Ituru High Performance Center, Gaim Kurana, Koba, Emma, Ekitasi Miharo, Argon Menge, me, Maksadaka Mioti, Muli Raj, Shamilwa Gota, me, me, program the Hingung, and a mess me, Baba, Bahale Vigin, Mikuria Midani, Furtama, Mihama, concentrate, Mikurani Male, Sarahada, Efoga, me, Sauta Midani, Aduga, me, High Performance Center, Gaim Kuranga, Etage, Sama Male, me, Sarahaduga, Mihada Kahada. Me high performance center in Nani Hama A age for Atoga coding as a metati begging me train Mumuga Kanta Kuria Gendani Hama weekend ga me me match the Kuruma me Huri Hakons Kuria Dan. They tamba Sama Kuria Gendani Hama Hama me me get replica Hama Kologa Hedi Gendani. A Fahoga Hama Anikavis Ahare de Ahare Kofa me Visnani Hama me North Nota me Kurdu Furi Sarahada Hama high performance center at Long. Benumaki meeting area and Algon Mena Kudinta Tambrin Kurabi gang. Me emme rangalo me kolun terin sidak tuve geng aong me huri haves hama huri haves me program me gule famoti hama youth team takara adi hama senior team plus me algon menge club takang hama rangalo kolun terin four kod deno hembi ma me adu ge gaim koratang adi duas kore naga fan hen nama sama irad kore kuriang meng aharing ha duas terega hama fesheto maseke koran. Uh, Mr. Salgado, uh, welcome. Yes. Um, uh, you have been here uh, more than twice. I think this is the third time you're yeah. in Maldives. And you know how Maldives has formed as a geographically as a country. It is, uh, as far as I know, previously two technical directors, foreign technical directors, have worked here and they tried to uh, bring uh, some philosophies, but they are, due to uh, geographical reason, they could not succeed. How much? Are you confident that you will succeed in Maldives with these difficulties and with yeah. this geographical yeah. issue? I understand the I understand the question. The thing is that I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be the technical director of the of the uh, federation. That's something that is different, you know. I understand the difficulties, you know, for the for the technical directors that is coming into the into the federation because in the end, uh, no, the probably in the past they were not there was not something like that. Actually, you know, I ask if, if mo most of the teams in Premier League, they didn't have real grassroots. So in the end, it's, it's, it's difficult. You know, you need to choose only the players from, in, from here as director and getting them into the national team and playing competitions. This is a different program. It's going to be a high performance center. It's something that has never been done. You know, one thing is that the director of the, of course, of the, of the federation, which is going to be now helped by us. Actually, this is going to help the director of the, of the federation. So we are starting now something from zero. Why I'm really uh, happy, or, or I, mean, I believe that I can be successful in here, because we are starting from zero. Because we are starting from the real grassroots. We are starting from the scratch. We're gonna go to find out in the schools the best place. We're gonna, we're gonna teach them from zero. And then we're gonna get them into the high performance center when they're only 12 years old. We're gonna be working with them on a daily basis. Uh, in everything, not only in the football side, even even we're going to try to shape their bodies a little bit. So we know, we need to understand not, we are not in Spain. That's why we are in Maldives. We need to find out everything from Maldives. You know, the bodies are different, the culture is different, and we need to get used to it. But the most important thing for me is that, and you need to understand that it's not I'm coming like director of the federation and then. Um, you know, working with the, with the kids that I have, trying to select the best players for the national team and done. No, I'm not doing that. That's the job from uh, the director of the federation and from the coaches of the national teams. My role in here is going to be finding out the kids and working with them since they are seven years old, bringing them into the, in the high performance center and making them competitive and trying to improve the, the Premier League. So I think it's a different, it's a different job and that's why I'm really confident that I, I can be successful. Of course, you know the time will be the judge, but in the end, um, I know the I know the thing. I know how to do it. I have it in my mind, and when I have something in my mind, I'm gonna chase it until the last until the last second. So you can you can be sure 
that uh, I'm going to be there until, until the last moment trying to push you know, for this program and to make it successful. That's for sure. But as I said, it's a different, it's a different story. I'm not the director of, you know, I'm bringing a different program. Okay, I'm bringing a program for the grassroots and to try to, you know, to discover the place and to, and to develop them. Yep. ಅಕಾಡಮಿ <laughs> ಬ್ಯಾಬರ್ ನೋವ ಕುದಿನ್ನ ಬೋಡ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಕುರೆಬಿಗೆ ಕುರಿಯ ದಾನಿ ಎನ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಮಿ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಂಗ ಅಣ್ಣನ್ ಜೆ ಕೋಜ ಕೊಮಿ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಗೆ ಹೊರೆ ಜಾಳು ಮೆ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಐ ಕೋ ಮಶ್ವರ ಕೋ ಗೆ ಮಿ ಎಬ್ಬ ಸೋಮಕ ಅಂಗ ಆದೆ ವೇನೆ ಮಿ ಸಾದಕ ಹಫ್ತಾ ಕೋ ತಿಂದು ಮಿ ಮಿ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಗ ಮಸಕೆ ಕೋರ ನೋತ ಮಿ ಎ ಫೋ ಗ ಅನಿ ತಿಂದು ಅಸ್ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಐ ಕೋ ಮಸಕೆ ಕೋರ ಗೋ ತೆ ಬಿಮ ಎ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ತಕ ಐ ಕೋ ಎಬ್ಬ ಸ್ ವೇ ಬಿಗೆ ಕುರಿಯ ದಾನಿ ಅಳಗೋನ್ ಬೇನು ವನಿ ಮಿ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಂಗ ಆದೆ ವೇ ಕೋಜ ಕೋ ಎ ಫೆಂ ವರ್ಗ ಕೋಜ ಕೋ ರೆ ಜೆ ಐ ಕೋಜ ಅಂಗ ಎ ಫರ್ಸತೆಸ್ ಒನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಅನ್ ಅದಿ ಹಮ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಅವೇಸ್ ಎ ಫೋರ್ ಸತ್ ಒನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಹೋರಿ ಕೊಳನ್ ತೆರಿಯ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಐ ಕೋವೇಸ್ ಕುರಿಯದ ದೇವೆ ಗೋತಕ ಹೆಂ ಬಿಮ ಎ ಗೋತ ಮಶ್ವರ ಕೊರ್ಮ ಫೋ ಕುರಿಯದ ದಾನ್ ಆಳ್ಗೊಂಡಗೆ ಸವಾಲ ಕಿ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಅವರ ಬೈ ಟ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಬೋರ್ ಅತಲ ತೆರೆಗ ಮಿ ಹಾರಸ್ ಬೈ ಕುದಿನ್ನ ಬೈರ ಸಬ ತಕ ಹೆದಿ ಮಾಲೆ ನಾಲೆ ಫೆಬ್ರವರಿ ಎನ್ಎಮ್ಎಸ್ ಮಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಗೆ ದಶೋಂ ಹಮತ್ ವರ ಬೈರ ಹೊಸ ತಕ ಲೆಬೆಗೆ ಬದೆ ಎ ಕುದಿನ್ನ ಮಾಲೆ ಅಣ್ಣ ಮಾಲೆ ಆಮುಗ ಹೊರಿ ಗೊಂಜ ಹೊಂತ ಕೆ ಹೊನ್ನಾಣೆ ವರ ಬೈವರ ಮಾಲೆ ಗ ದಿರಿ ಒಳಮುಗ ಬೈರ ಗೊಂಜ ಹೊಂತ ಕೆ ಹೊನ್ನಾಣೆ ಎಕಂ ಕಂ ಬಿ ಸಾಲ್ದು ಕೆ ಕಣ್ಣೆ ಗಳೋಡ ಹೇವನ್ ಮಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಬೇಗೆಂದ ಯಾರು ಎ ಎ ಕುರಿ ಹಾ ಪ್ಲೇರ್ ಒನ್ನ ಫಸೆ ಹೇವೆಗೆ ದಾಣಿ ಎಮ ಕಿಹಿನೆತ್ತು ಆಣೆ ಎಕಂ ಕಂ ರೇವೆಗೆ ದಾಣಿ ಹೊಯಿಗೆ ಅಣ್ಣ ಕುದಿ ಮಾಲೆ ಗ ತಿಬು ಮಾ ಹೊರಿ ಹಾ ಗಮೆ ಮಿ ವರ ರಂಗಳ ಸುವಾಗ ಕಣ್ಣೆ ಅಳಬನ್ ಮೇಂಗೆ ಮೊಳಿ ಮಿ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಗೆ ಮಕ್ಸದ ಕಿ ಅತಳು ತೆರೆಯಾಗ ಹೋರಿ ಟ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಹುದಿಂಗ್ ಹೋದ ಎ ಕುದಿನ್ನ ಮಿ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಂಗ ಆಸ್ಕಿ ಎತನೋಗ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ವೇಗ ಎಂದಿಯೋ ದೆನ್ ಅಳಗೊಂಡ ಮೇನ ಮಿ ಅನೆ ಮೀಗ ತೆರೆ ನುದೇವಿ ಓಯ್ ಮೌಲು ಮಾತೆ ಕಣ್ಣೆ ಮಿ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ತೆರೆಯಾಗ ಇನ್ನ ನ ಸತೆ ಕುದಿಂಗ್ ಜಾಗಾಗೆ ಎಕಮೊಂಡೇಷನ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಳಿಫ ಎಂ ವಿಮ ಎ ತನೋಗ ಎ ಕುದಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ತಿ ಬೇಗ ಗೊತ ಮಿ ಒನ್ನನಿ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಂಗ ಆದೆ ಬೇ ಕುದಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಮಿ ಬುನ ಮಿ ಉಮರ್ ಫುರಾ ತೋಗ ಕುದಿಂಗ್ ತಂಗ ಆಸ್ಕಿ ತಿ ಬೇನಿ ಮಿ ಬುನ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಗೊ ತಿ ಬೇಗೆ ಹಫ್ತ ಬಂದುಗ ಮಿ ಆಯಿಲ ಕಾರ್ಯ ದಿಯುಮ ಮಿ ಕಹಲ್ ಕಂದ ತಂಗ ಒನ್ನನಿ ಎಂ ವಿಮ ಎ ಗೊತ ರೇ ಬಿಗೆ ಅನ್ನನಿ ದೆಂಗ ಹಮ ಎ ಮಿ ಆಯ್ ಕಿ ಗಾಲ್ಗೊಂಡ ಮೇಂಗ ಅದಿ ಹಮ ಅತಳು ತೆರೆಯ ಗೊಸ್ ಮಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ತೋ ಫೆಶಿ ಗೆ ದಾಯರುಗ ಅಳಗೊಂಡ ಮೇಂಗ ಹಮ ಬೆಲೆ ನಿವೆರಿ ನಸ್ ಮಶ್ವರ ಕುರೆ ಬಿಗೆ ಮಿ ಅನ್ನ ಕುದಿನ್ನ ಎ ಬೆಲೆ ನಿವೆರಿ ನಂಗ ಎ ಬೈತು ಬಾರು ಹೋದ ದೇಂಜ್ ಹೇ ಕಣ್ಣೆ ಅಳಗೊಂಡ ಮೇಣ್ಣ ಕುದಿಂಗ್ ಹವಾಲ್ ಬೇಗೆ ದಾರು ಹೆಂ ವರ ಜುವಾಂಗ್ ಉಮರುಗ ಆಸ್ ಅಳಗೊಂಡ ಮೇಣ್ಣ ಐ ಕೊ ಮಿ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಬೇಗೆ ದಾನಿ ಮಿ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ದೆಂಗ್ ತೆಮ್ಮೆ ತಿ ಬೇಫು ನಾ ಫೆಡಿ ಮಾಡ ಅನ್ನವನ್ ಕಣ್ಣೆಗೆ ಬಾರ ಹಾರು ಫೆಶಿಗೆ ಮಿ ಕುಜ್ಜ ಆಸ್ ಅಳಗೊಂಡ ಮೇಗೆ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಹಂಗ ಅನ್ನೇರುಗ ಎತ ತೆರೆಯಾಗ ಹೊರುಮ ಕೆವುಮ ಮಿ ಅದಿ ಅದಿ ಹಮ್ಮ ಕಿಯಬುಗೆ ಬ್ಯಾವೆಸ್ ಎತ ತೆರೆ ಕುರಿಯ ದಾನ ಅಳಗೊಂಡ ಮಿ ಹಾರ್ ಮಿದನಿ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅದಿ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಐ ಕೋ ಮಶ್ವರ ಕುರುಮ ಎಕುದಿನ್ನ ಹಾಸ ಕರ್ಕ್ಯೂಲಮ್ ಹೆದಿಗೆ ಹಮ್ಮ ಮಿ ಹೈ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ತೆರೆಯಾಗ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ತೆರೆಯಾಗ ಅಳಗೊಂಡ ಮೇ ಕುದಿನ್ನ ಕಿಯಬುಗೆ ಬ್ಯಾವೆಸ್ ಕುರಿಯಾಗ ಎಂದಾನ ಹೇ ಮಿಮ್ಮ ಮಿ ಇರಾದ ಕೊರೆವೆ ಮಿ ವಾಣಿ ವರ ಫುರಿಹಮ ಬೇಗೆಂದ
Eki yang algon meng kom meng Premier League aku lom teri phone omen none, eka mi proses terega algon meng eki mubarat ta eki league ta kur mi mi umur frata ka hedi genda ane. Adi hamme eki ga hamma gawu mbero ga mubarat ta ogas bari wa kote mati Spain ga ona mubarat ta ga bari wa ane Dubai ga ona mubarat ta bana adi algon meng ami bero ga e umur frata oge mi team ta male sarahat da genes ga male ga wes mubarat ta kuria dana hebe ma youth umur frata ko din kulon teri na hamma e fursa ta ngon na e mubarat ta kuria dana adi hamma mi geng algon menge under 12 under 14 not under 16 under 19 wes e kulon teri na mi mi gau mi team ta ka wes hamma kulon ge fursa ta mi geng di bigen dana Masama ne mi haro raje ga hama para fula ko hama kure ve kame kane hama rada sungi sna ga ga mis kulta kungi sna ga ga mis hama kura kame kane hama zuang kulun teni gras rutu na galu kuru maki teni hama faha kofi asara baya ka behe wa ka kine to ege si dakshan mi establish ve fa hunna ni kong 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 Algon meng mi diha ram mi sidak puri atau lo tereng de ma de sarahat dong mi ara mi a skule mi mi negi ge mi diai de diha rang algon meng kande kande eliro ga algon meng beli bodang aba di oi gota a di algon meng ge atau lo mubara to ga mi 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 e tim ta kong wado ko furi fembor ta kara a di skul ta oga algon meng na mi program hingge ne facilities on na mi mbara ka balaf. Em ego togo mati ngalo gon mi dihara kan dia lagi mi dia de mi fesume pete ero galo gon meng asha re kada mi ako mi dan hena mes mustak bal galo meng hama mi e kada mi tai turu kore gen dane mi algo gon meng beno hama kurin dene he muli raje ga hama e kada mi ta gam kore gen gos mi mi ge em merang galo nati ja futu bole di bigen dio em bi ma mi den ne bi gota balafa algo gon meng mi diha ra re sidak be fami oti Mi jawa kial dene mi ratta koba to e dihara raki mi 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 wago ta ma basa me fa kuri nga ma fm ge program ta hingga munda adi mi abadi ya shami huri haka ma kabala fuselek kuri fa mi hiri <hesitation> kulo do fushi e da fushi kendi kulo do mahi ba do deng addo ga hama de kada mi hada go ta tang kole abadi bodo e fal mengge sestel placement tang kole bodo ta naka wati ve deng tina do la mu gang <hesitation> Kuda huwa du formula, nyeta ema total ashet de 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 kadami nuwe de de kadami ado kami hedi gani dani de male e bohri bai school ta alme nge chihi mi hama media hama kola na alme boda mi kule ne tana noni ya mong mi inter school noni mi mubara ta uga mi performance a balafa mi selection a mi ai a ta ne nyeta de alme hi vani mi press mi mal ma form ma tangkoi detail list a ka e ko media e hama kola. Mi itu suara netizen yang mengemudi press conference ni malam berbanding itu berapa banyak syukur ya.